And then finally in the news for this week, may, we may finally see an updated Apple TV. It's been a little while, but this is according to Ming-Chi Kuo. He said in a tweet that Apple has plans to release an updated Apple TV in the second half of 2022. What's the big new feature? He says, quote, improvements in cost structure. Seriously, I think a more aggressive price point on Apple TV is likely the biggest thing that Apple could do to drive the device and uh, get it to be more popular amongst consumers. It is certainly pricey. The current Apple TV Plus 4K models start at US 179 and uh, one and then go to 199 respectively depending upon whether you want 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes of storage and that is a lot more expensive than set-top boxes from Apple's competition, and has been for a while. Now, granted, uh, the Apple TV uh, has more features, has more functionality. I think we did a whole segment here on the MacCast about it. I think there's value there, but is it enough value, especially considering the fact that Apple has placed now the Apple TV app on a lot of those competing devices and built it right into a lot of smart TVs. So, there's been less and less reason for someone to just get an Apple TV set-top box, um, but Apple may be looking to change that by adjusting the price point. Now, Quo doesn't mention what the price point will be, but my personal opinion is that they need to get it back down to having a sub $100 starting price. I think $99 bucks is probably the right price point, at least for the entry-level model. It'd be nice if they went even lower, got it down into that $50 price point, but I don't know that Apple would be willing to go that low. We've heard nothing about if there's going to be a form factor change. Are they going to do a stick? Or are they going to stick with the little brick? You know, this the square puck that they have now. Um, nothing there, but we had heard rumors in the past that Apple was working on developing an integrated Apple TV product to combine the HomePod, a FaceTime camera, and Apple TV all into a single device. Of course, that's not going to be a sub $100 entry-level product, but we might see the expansion of the entire lineup to include a low-priced Apple TV, something at an entry point for the masses, and then on the higher end, this integrated premium offering bringing the ultimate living room experience and sort of having that full product line and apple likes to do that with their products as they mature i think you know the now discontinued ipod is a great example of that we sort of had you know the ipod introduced and then it apple slowly expanded the line over time with the shuffle and the nano and you had different price points and sort of something for everyone and I could see Apple bringing that to their living room product as well in the form of the Apple TV. So it'll be interesting to see what Apple does with the Apple TV later this year. That's when it is expected, and I am personally looking forward to it.